Hello, my friends. I am Pastor Michelle Morris uh, here with First United Methodist Church in Bentonville. And I just wanted to share with you, I've had several conversations over the past really couple of weeks, uh, some among uh, some of our longtime members and then some among uh, people that are interested in joining our church or in the process of joining our church. And they have wondered where we stand on all of this debate within the United Methodist Church. And I've shared with all of them, and I'm gonna share with you, uh, just in case some of you are also wondering about this, that um, we actually made a statement about this in May. Our church council met, discussed um, where we stand on this, and made a statement. Um, and our statement is this, First United Methodist Church of downtown Bentonville will not be joining the Global Methodist Church. In accordance with our welcoming statement, we do not feel that the aims of that newly forming denomination fit the values of our local congregation. We will remain United Methodist, and we will be in prayer for all those discerning where their journeys are leading them, sending those who choose to leave the denomination on with our blessings and our love. Um, I think a lot of this has come about because some of the churches in our area have uh, started the disaffiliation process or at least the discernment around that and we have had some in the area that have voted to leave um, there is some confusion about whether they think there I think there's a rumor out there that if you're in a Methodist Church you have to vote you don't uh, if you know that you're going to stay United Methodist you don't have to vote you don't have to have a discernment process none of that and our church solidly knows that we are going to remain United Methodist so we're not having those discussions. We're not having the vote. Um, and, um, and I'm grateful to be serving a church that, that feels that way so that we can continue to focus on our mission and ministry. We are in prayer for all of those that are in the discernment process. It is heartbreaking. It is gut-wrenching. Um, it is a space of deep and powerful church wounding and hurt. And for that, I weep along with um, much of the not just the Methodist community but the Christian community and so we do hold all of you that are in that process in our prayers and pray that it can be um, as kind and as graceful a process as possible um, but but I know just the reality of that is that um, it's very hard for that to be the case um, so Anyway, I just wanted you all to know where First United Methodist Church of Bentonville stands. I also personally am going to remain United Methodist and I'm actually working with a group of pastors on a project to be present with those who are um, now finding themselves church homeless um, and uh, just really trying to be supportive for all of those Methodists out there in any way that I can. I want to close this video by reading also um, our welcoming statement, which we make a reference to in our um, statement that the council just voted on in May. Um, and I will also share with you that you can go to fumcbentonville.org, which is our website, and find these statements. Um, you just want to check, check on about us and who we are. And you can find both of these uh, present there, as well as some information on what we believe and what our vision and our mission are. But I just want to close with this because I do think this is a powerful statement in a, in a time like this, not just within the United Methodist Church, but in our very divided world. Um, and I want everyone to know um, how we stand in the midst of it. So we have this statement that says, um, refers to us as a church who welcomes. FUMC Bentonville welcomes all. Because we believe the communion table is God's table, we invite everyone into our church family. We welcome and celebrate every race, gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, marital status, age, physical and mental ability, national origin, economic station, and political ideology. We come together in action and outreach, aspiring to follow Jesus' example of radical hospitality, love, and grace as a transformative movement in our community. That is our welcome statement. We are leaning into it. We know we don't always do it perfectly, but that is our aspiration. So if you find yourself in need of a place where you are welcome, then you are welcome here. And again, for all of those in the process of discerning um, who they are in the midst of these times, your, our prayers are with you. Um, and if you need a space to land, we are here. Blessings and peace, my friends.